Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. We got a couple, well, three interesting stories to go over today. Uh, stuff dealing with an update to the Nintendo Switch online phone app, except this update's only in Japan. Probably going to end up over here in the United States soon. We also have, well, Chris Pratt uh, giving a gift that is very, very interesting and a little bit of a special. And also we have some sales updates on things coming out of Japan and more so i'm really excited to bring this news to you today and if you're enjoying it i would appreciate if you drop a like and subscribe i also want to note that this video is sponsored by one of our very good partners into the am i'm actually wearing one of their shirts right now this is like an alien spaceship thing it's really cool they have obviously massive sales going on right now for the sales period i think today is black friday but then obviously they have all weekend cyber monday and everything they have a huge sales going on that you can get an extra 10 percent off using code nintendo prime 10 at discount and when i say huge sales they have some items on clearance for as low as five to six dollars you can get an extra 10 percent off of that they have some of their you know newer merchandise you know chopped off five to ten bucks as well this is just a really great time of of, you know, of the year to get into the AM products. They create some of the best premium t-shirts and they're pre-shrunk. So you don't have to worry about them shrinking no matter what size you are. And they're super soft. And I just, I, I can't really recommend them enough. The quality of the prints, even their standard basic tees I use as undershirts. Everything about them is amazing. They make up about 75% of my wardrobe at this point because I absolutely love their products. You guys should go check them out in the link down in the description. All right, our first story deals with, well, Chris Pratt because, well, okay. I guess it's not Chris Pratt. It's Star-Lord. They did a Christmas special with Guardians of the Galaxy. And in this special, Star-Lord gifts Groot something that is just magical. Take a look. Do the dishes because here it is Chris. Christmas time, and we all want someone who will love us and hold us to curl up alongside when nights are the coldest. And we all want someone that's right, a Game Boy. Man, that really takes me back. I don't remember when I received my Game Boy, if it was a Christmas present or a birthday present, but what I do remember are so many fond memories of playing it. And having Star Lord bring back some more classic tech. You know he's got the cassette player, but bringing back the Game Boy, introducing Groot to it, I think should be pretty good times. Now, I mentioned that Nintendo had updated the Nintendo Switch Online phone app, and they did only for Japan. So it's version 1.15, and you can now see goodies that you can get with platinum points on the My Nintendo Points balance screen. You can now check detailed information about the games displayed in the store, you could tap a game to see screenshots and a description within the app. The GPS check-in function has been improved, and they added support for Android 13 along with some bug fixes. Now, this stuff isn't available yet over here. They could just be testing it in Japan first before they launch it over here, but it looks like this is the next big update for the Nintendo Switch Online app, at least the next... I don't know. Do we call this a big update? They are adding features that I think are useful, but I also don't really care that much about the app. But maybe they can eventually make me care about it. I don't know. Right now, it gets open sparingly for voice chat. And I mean very sparingly. And our last story today, I told you it could be a bit of a quick one. Some quick stories here. We have a sales update from Japan for last week. Now, we already know that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet sold 4.05 million in its first three days on the market in Japan. Because Nintendo told us. But that's total sales. That's not physical compared to digital. We have that now because... According to Famitsu, Pokemon sold two and a half million copies in Japan during that three-day period. Now, again, that's just physical. So we have an idea roughly there about 1.5, 1.05, 1.505, uh, or 1.55, right? Whatever it is, million digital copies sold. So still more physical than digital, but that is something as well. Also, the Nintendo Switch itself jumped up to 170,000 sales. Now, this is 10,000 less than the 180,000 that happened with the Sword and Shield launch. However, notably, the Switch is extremely supply constrained. There's been updates from many retailers in Japan, even to not, even like today, as of today, like, hey, we're sold out. We don't have any Switches. Stop coming out to buy Switch. We don't have any. So, yeah, it's obviously sold out, so it probably could have sold more if there was more in stock, but there isn't. A lot of the priority for stock right now is being shifted over here to the United States for 
today, basically. So I would like I, I think some supply will start to be shifted to Japan next month because they have a big sales period at the end of December. So they should get more stock then as Nintendo shifts stock around the world for various sales periods. But man, 170,000, 4 million plus, 2.5 million physical. That's insane. Splatoon 3, by the way. Oh no, it got knocked down to number two. It's going to be interesting to see if Splatoon 3 ends up taking its number one roll back in a couple weeks. I think Pokemon's going to hold steady for three or four weeks, but then will Splatoon 3 creep back up? I have no idea. Which one's going to sell the most in Japan? Again, I have no idea. Probably Pokemon, because Pokemon just jumped ahead. But Splatoon tends to have a really long tail of sales, and Pokemon doesn't in Japan. So I guess time will tell. Anyways, folks, I want to thank you so much for tuning in to this video. We do have another video coming later today, a very special one that is just very meaningful for me uh, for many, many reasons. And I, I, I'll, I'll get to it in that video. I want to save all, everything I have to say for that. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Ruffle Chance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.